This is just morning is going to be actually coming from, I am coming from 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 through 27. So if you have your Bibles, make sure you follow along with me. If not, jot this down. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 through 27. And it says, Do you not know that those who run in a race all run? But one receives the prize. Run in such a way that you may obtain it. And everyone who competes for the prize is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a perishable crown, but we for an imperishable crown. Therefore, I run thus, not with uncertainty. Thus I fight not as one who beats the air. But I discipline my body and bring it into subjection. Least when I have preached to others, I myself should become disqualified. So Divas, this morning, I wanna to talk to you guys about getting ready. Cause some of y'all are not ready. Some of you are not ready to step it up and move. See, you all are running a race. Yes, you are. And you're running a race, but you haven't even prepared yourself for this race. So you haven't really prepared yourself to gain anything or win anything in this race that you're in. Now, some of us might call this race the rat race, the rat race of life. Well, we're just on this wheel and we keep going round and round and round with no destination in mind, no ending in mind. We get up every day, we do the same thing every day, we complain every day. So we, we're running, but we don't know where we're running to. We've never taken out the time to stop and prepare ourselves. We haven't prepared ourselves to win a race, which is in this race to be running. And that's not what life is really all about. Life is about us actually sitting down and preparing ourselves to obtain a goal. For some of us, that goal is something that that's obtainable, something that we can, can you know, wear it on our heads, you know, the little tears. But for others of us, the goals, the, the crowns that we are trying to obtain in life are those things that some people can't touch and some of those things are pe that people can't see, like self-confidence, building our self-confidence, building our self-esteem so that we can go out there and run a race with a purpose in mind, with an ending goal in mind, which is to either finish the race or to win the race. But what I see is a lot of my divas out there, you guys are... First of all, y'all don't know y'all in a race. Y'all just out there. You get up every day and you keep going. The rest of you know you're in a race, but you are so out of shape and you are not prepared. You are not mentally prepared. You are not spiritually prepared. And you just don't have any goals or any plans in mind. You're just not prepared at all. And so you find yourself getting frustrated. You find yourself being overwhelmed and overcome with hopelessness and helplessness because it's like I'm running and I'm running and I'm running, but I'm not seeing any progress. I'm not seeing where I'm going anywhere. I don't see where any of these things are starting to pay off. And so Dr. Carey, what is it that I need to do? Well, the first thing you guys need to do, you divas need to step it up. You need to take yourself to the next level. That becomes a mindset shift. That means that you need to shift the way that you think about yourself. You need to think about the race that you are in and you need to change the way that you're thinking about that race and say, you know what? I'm not gonna just get up every day and keep running the same race over and over and over again. Next time when I get up, I'm going to prepare for the race. I'm going to go, I'm going to condition myself mentally, I'm going to condition myself spiritually. And as I run the race, my goal is to either cross the finish line or my goal is to cross the finish line and to win a prize that I'm going to run this race and I'm going to run the race with a purpose. 
I am going to be prepared. I am going to be focused. No longer will I continue to run and not have any purpose and not know what it is that I am trying to do. Does this message resonate with you? How many of you out there right now are running a race with no purpose in mind? You just get up every day and you go to work. You get up every day and you live life, but you have no purpose in mind. You have no outcome. At the end of the day, you come home and you feel as if you haven't accomplished anything. Well, guess what? You haven't accomplished anything because you went into it not prepared. I have a question for you. How many of you have even attempted the goals that you set in January? How many of you have accomplished the goals that you set in January? If you're sitting there scratching your head and A, you don't even remember what goals you set, let alone you know good and well you haven't accomplished those goals, you need to step it up. You have been running a race. You have been running a race, not prepared. You have been running a race with no goals in mind. You know what, since January, you have just been getting up and running this race called life with no destination in mind. You just running. Y'all just running. Y'all just running and don't know where y'all running. And you just hoping that the braces on your legs gonna pop off one day. Life doesn't work like that, Divas. It doesn't work like that. So as we go back to the scriptures, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 through 27. A, do, do you know that you're running a race? That's the first question. If you have not accomplished your goals that you set in January, if you haven't even, if you don't even remember the goals that you set in January, you don't know that you're running a race. You don't even know that you're running a race. The next thing is, if you don't know that you're running a race, you're, you, you're not preparing yourself to receive the prizes at the end. There are goals. Goals are prizes. Goals are personal possessions for us. They are things that help us such as build our self-confidence, to build our self-esteem, for us to go out into the world and be the women that we're supposed to be and to walk in our ordained purpose. But if you can't even accomplish your goals that you set for yourself, let alone remember the goals that you have set for yourself, I seriously doubt it if you even know what your purpose is or how to walk in your ordained purpose. You are just running through life with no plan, no preparation. So you will continue to be on the wheel. You're going to continue to be on that wheel called life, just running and running and running with no destination in mind. So Divas, as we continue to read the scriptures, it says, but I discipline my body and bring it into subjection. Again, you have to be prepared. You have to learn how to start disciplining yourself. If you have gone nine months with no goals in mind, with no clarity in your life, you are just running around in circles. You will never walk in your ordained purpose if you don't sit down and come up with a game plan. If you don't sit down and set some goals. If you don't have some objectives in place of this is what I want to do. This is how I'm going to reach. the. This is how I'm going to become the diva that God has ordained me to be. Divas, it, it's time for us to get it together. It's time. You see how society is going. It is time for us, for us to get it together. It's time for us to stop making all these excuses. It's time for us to stop waiting for other people to come to our rescue. And it's time for us to start to take ownership of our own lives. And the way that we do that, the way that we compete in this rat race called life is that we have to begin to prepare ourselves mentally and we have to prepare ourselves spiritually. Preparation means that we have to sit down and come up with a plan that will take us into the season of activation. We talk about the five seasons that you go through. You ladies, if, if you don't even know what your goals are for 2016, you're not even in a season of preparation. I don't even think you know if you're in a season. 
you don't even know that you're supposed to be preparing yourself for bigger and better things. And Diva, that is a problem. That is a problem. That is a problem when you walk through life with no goals. That is a problem when you walk through life and you don't know where it is that you're supposed to be and what it is that you're supposed to be doing. You know what that tells me, Divas? That tells me that you are broken that you are a broken spirit, that you are lost, and that you probably need a whole lot of guidance right now. But you have never admitted it to yourself because you get up every day, you put on a nice outfit, you put on your, your heels, you grab your designer bag, you get in your expensive car, and you go to a job that you hate. And you don't know why you continue to do this day in and day out. You don't feel fulfilled. You don't feel you don't feel as if you have a purpose in life. You feel like you know I just get up and I just do this. That's being empty. That's being broken. And no woman is supposed to walk around feeling that way. But no one's ever told you that. And so it has become normal for you. Guess what? That's not living. That's not living. You are dying on the inside because you keep running a race and you don't even know where you running to. You running a race, but you out of shape mentally and spiritually. You are running a race with no destination in mind, no goals, no objectives. And guess what? When you keep running like that, you get tired and you want to quit and you want to give up. And so today, my message to you, Divas, is that I'm not going to let you give up. I'm not going to let you quit. I'm going to train you. I'm going to be that person that holds you accountable. Because guess what? We all need an accountability partner sometimes. We all need someone who's going to step in and not sugarcoat things and tell us about ourselves.